with this episode being reincarnation and what was happening to you know last episode i have to know what's going on What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 95, Reincarnation. Now, before we get into this episode, this is the first episode of the new opening, opening 8. So, the Patreon full-length tier, which is normally only on Patreon, is available for everyone for free with the first and last episode of every opening. So, make sure to check that out at the top of the description. Come back here for the review. If you enjoy that, consider keeping Patreon in the future. Check it out. You might, might like it. But, I, with the stones being all collected, put into the, the tablet, I have to know why you know first off but i need to know who the the being in the the mana circle oh there's so many questions i have i really can't get into it because i'll be talking for like an hour so i'm about to hop into this episode i'm super excited don't forget to check out that patreon though for early access and full length for the future don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram tiktok twitch and twitter all the dapper darius much appreciated let's hop into this black clover episode 95 Reincarnation? Let's do this. This is... This is when he was originally getting his grimoire. Okay, flashback. Look at a young licked. So many elves. That's licked and Raya. Patry, he was the one who Raya was kind of roasting the other episode. There were rumors beforehand. Not wrong about that. That's humans to a T right there. I respect Lick for this attitude though, off rip. That's that is a good point. Someone's in trouble. Is that Tetsuya? Go in and save the day, Lick, look at you. I don't know why I'm cheering for our- Oh! That was the original Wizard King, if I- if, Based on his looks. Lamp of Avior. He also has light magic. Only reason I'm guessing he's the original Wizard King is because he has that short stature with the hair exactly like the one on the statue we see. That is Tetia. This is how they met. Also have a four-leaf grimoire, both of them. And they both have light magic as well. <laughs> Look at him with the squirrel on his shoulder. That's cute. Hatchery seems to be the only one who distrusts humans before the whole attack happened. I respect that. Now, if I remember correctly, because I don't think they saw humans attack. They only assumed it was humans because Tetia, who was a victim in this, and her brother, who I'm assuming is the first Wizard King, were the only humans to know about their location and where everything was going down. So that's why, ergo, had to have been humans that attacked. I know it's more to that, so I'm definitely curious. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong for sure. Ooh, they were, they're feeling each other. <laughs> Damn, I won't lie, that's some good looking fruit. I love fruit. That's what I saw a few episodes ago. 
Tomorrow's ceremony is where everything goes wrong. I wonder how much the story would be different if this attack didn't happen and everything was able to, you know, work out. A half human, half elf would be probably nuts in terms of power and in terms of, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going with that. And now knowing that he has light magic, her brother, the attack on them was light magic, right? It was like those light swords coming down. Oh, tomorrow, oh, does Patrick not even get his because he dies? I would be excited as well. Getting a Grimoire would be so dope. <laughs> Hell yeah, Raya. That's what I like to hear. So, Patri, who was distrustful of humans off the beginning, is starting to, starting to get won over. And then, I'm assuming, here comes the bad part. See? I won't lie, though. That does look like light magic. Their magic has been sealed as well. Oh. Oh, the squirrel's still with him. Oh. I can't lie, though. That would be horrible to witness slash be there. Yeah, that would be like a nightmare, literally. Jesus Christ. Licked with Tetia's dead body. And it looked like Patri survived. Or he's about to die. That is such a crazy... Yeah. That is a crazy shot. I wonder... Those look like the same magic rings when he did his unsealing... When he unsealed his magical power. Is this Patri again? Or is this Licked? This is Patri! So Pat Licked has been Patri this whole time? Reincarnation spell? It put their soul into another body? Are those all the elf souls? That would be so sad. So I'm assuming that the Licks we've known for this whole time is Patri. And now the one who's in that mana ball that you know came across is the actual Licked. Maybe. He goes to the Grimoire Tower. And it is a four leaf as well. And now it makes a lot more sense why Patri Licked is so anti human. Like, beyond. Because uh, this is crazy. This is literally all the answers that I've been asking for. So he, Patri used forbidden magic to reincarnate Raya, uh, Fauna, and Veto. And they know, they know he's Patri as well. That's crazy. It really can't be. That's crazy. So the reincarnation is all the elf souls. Makes a lot of sense now. And that's why he talked all that smack, talked all that shit to Valtos, Rodez, and Sally at the end there. He truly hates humans. And now we're back to current Patry. I gotta call him Patry now, can't call him Licked. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That's been the intention the whole time. Damn, bro, that would suck. It'd be your own homies. It'd be your own friends. Yeah. What is going on with you now? Please explain. There's no way it ended in the same exact spot. Son of a biscuit. The biggest thing I wanted to know is why you know was transforming at the end there. And it's, I, I didn't even get to find that out, but I did get a lot, a lot of answers. So the licked we'd known this whole time is actually Patchery because at the end of the attack, which it is fair to assume that that was Tetia's brother. I need to know more about Tetia's brother as well. I cannot wait to learn more. But at the end of that attack, the actual licked did some forbidden magic, it seemed, to be able to keep the elf souls in existence and flying around or at least in this plane of the of this world you know and for some reason patry was the only one who was, had full reincarnation into a human body he went and got his own grimoire which what his own the human body made it look like licked as well which is very interesting and now i need to know if that was william vengeance like that he originally got sucked into or if somehow he was able to transfer his soul into William. Very curious about that, but he went and got a four leaf clover grimoire just like Lick did, and then his goal was to reincarnate all the elf souls. The whole plan makes a lot more sense now, now that I know that, and it seems like it's gonna happen. Like he's, he's activating it right now. This is honestly, excuse me. This is honestly the lowest of the low we could be. Julius just died. And he, he's succeeding in his plans. Like, I have no idea what's going to happen. Oh, my. That's crazy that that's Patry. That's crazy that that's Patry. Um, but I completely understand his vendetta and vengeance for humans. Same with Veto, Fauna, and Raya. Completely understand all that. I just want to know more. I literally want to watch the next 47 episodes right now. I can't even lie to you. Oh I'm, oh, I'm so curious. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like always, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Tell someone you love them. Drink some water. Be safe out there. I appreciate y'all. Have a good day. Peace.